for the AEP challenge for the hackathon, we decided to use a 3 billion parameter uh, large language model. And the one we decided to use is Llama. So what we did was we took the, um, the column in the samples that had the actual risk assessment notes and we e categorized the risk assessment comment into um, one of the 13 categories that were described in the um, file that we were sent. Then we also determined whether it was a no risk, low risk, or high risk hazard. We decided to keep the prompt for the prompt engineering simple because if we had too much, then um, it would get confused. The GBT would get a little confused. And this is mostly just for a proof of concept, but um, if we were to continue on to this, we would store all the values, um, that all the risks and uh, uh, categories, and we would concatenate them into a CSV file that would be sent to um, the dashboard. Go with a front end that is web-based. Uh, Right off the bat, you might be able to notice there are three boxes. Currently, the UI is very simple and requires a bit of overhaul, but the main idea of the three, uh, three UI elements are one, to show the data, the second one, to show which files can be handled, and the third, to be able to import data and files. Though this mainly is useful for external files, as we will be planning to have a built in processor for the comments. However, however, that is in the future. Currently, as the system stands, you can upload a file through the import system. And once you import the file, you, you will be able to see it in the secondary. This will mean that the content is ready to be analyzed. Once you click this, you'll be shown a graph with a distribution of which injuries or which elements uh, cause the most injuries, as well as a graph showing the distribution of risks with a larger, in this case, a larger high risk percentage than low or no risks. The danger index is our crafted index for showing how dangerous each occupation is and uh, with five being the highest and one being the lowest and three being moderate to low danger. With this, you'll be able to see how dangerous each area is. Additionally, the reason we have chosen a file import system is because a database might get too large for the data collection. And also, it might also it is much more flexible in the long run.